you tonight. Kurt Schilling opens up about the collapse of 38 Studios in an op-ed in the Providence Journal. The former Red Sox ace pitcher blaming one person in particular for his company's demise. Schilling writes, there are things he believes Rhode Island taxpayers should know. So the question, did Schilling provide clarity? Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machano breaking it all down for us. Steph? This new op-ed is not the tell-all Schilling has promised he'll give once all the legal battles are done, but it is an extensive look at his take on the failed 38 Studios deal, and he blames Lincoln Chafee. In a new op-ed piece about the 38 Studios deal, Kurt Schilling takes aim at former Governor Lincoln Chafee, blaming him for not helping the failing video game company, even as Rhode Island taxpayers were on the hook for nearly $90 million in bonds. Schilling writes, I can say unequivocally that Lincoln Chafee is the most inept, simple-minded phony I have ever known. What he did and did not do for the people of Rhode Island and especially for the employees of 38 Studios is something I will not let people forget. Schilling also claims he didn't get enough notice that the company would only receive about two-thirds of the $75 million in bond money, writing, quote, less than two weeks prior to the move to Providence, we were informed of the change in the bond amount. He says the company had already budgeted for the $75 million, but this 2010 fact sheet given to Eyewitness News two months before the bond deal closed, not two weeks, clearly stated the company would only be getting $51 million of the 75. Former Governor Lincoln Chafee submitted his own op-ed to the journal last month, saying he was always against the deal, but it was already in motion before he was governor. He said, quote, regretfully, the taxpayers were in deep when I took the oath of office. His piece did not address criticisms that he did nothing to stop the company's collapse. Chafee later sued Schilling and a host of other people and companies involved in the deal. Schilling and all but one remaining defendant have settled with the state. And again, Schilling has said he'll tell the Rhode Island taxpayers everything, possibly on the radio. We have asked Chafee's spokesperson for a comment on this new op-ed piece. Live in the studio, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.